Someone laid her first egg today. Little L5 baby. This is Frog. And she has laid her first egg. It's somewhere on the floor. There's Danny Phasmid and where's Bulbasaur? There's Bulbasaur. I'm proud of you. Somewhere in this room is a rabbit skull wrapped in a mask, you know, like a, a mask everyone's wearing nowadays. But where did I put it? Where on earth did I put it? Like, how do you lose? Oh, there it is. I found it. Found it, finally. So, yeah, I found a rabbit skull the other day. Which is cool. Oh, it is in bad shape. Oh, it's in very, very bad shape. Oh dear. Maybe I broke it in my pocket. Oh well, I can glue it together. You know what? Why don't we make today's video gluing together a rabbit skull? I think that would be pretty cool. Let's do that. I just came over to mist my insect tanks and Frog is just chilling on the floor. She is sat on the floor, eating a leaf. Have fun, frog. I'll see you tomorrow. Night-night. Okay, that's enough slideshow. Let's get on to the actual video. By the way, that's the footage I got on the day I picked up the rabbit skull. Okay, I have a lot of editing to do. Here we go! <laughs> so I've got my rabbit skull that I cleaned a couple of years ago out for reference. Don't really need the bottom jaw, just need the cranium bit. And now to clean all this fur of this skull. This skull is in really bad shape. I should mention this is just fur. There's well maybe a bit of skin but it's all dried. Oh, whiskers. Little rabbit whiskers. But yeah it's not rotting. It's just fur. It's going in the bin. Oh, I lost a tooth. Am I even in frame? I'm not really in frame. But you know, you can see me just carefully pulling to the skull off. Okay, now what do I do? This is my first time putting a proper skull together like this. And one so fragile as well, like, this skull is incredibly fragile. I should start gluing things in place that go in places. So I've got some super glue and I find just putting it on some plastic is pretty good because um, then it just kind of can peel off when you're done. This is just super glue from Poundland, nothing terribly fancy. And I use a pin to apply it, I hope. We'll see if it works. It works usually, so it should work today. Maybe. Sometimes you just have to pull a skull apart in order to fix it, I think. Here's the other eye socket. You 
going to put some of that fur out of it now. Oh, there's a bit of mummified skin on it. Lovely. Eye socket. You see, if I actually put effort into this, if I actually put effort into this, we would have something higher quality. Oh, oh god, we're losing more teeth. Oh, there's one of the little baby, baby, um, the next lot of incisors coming through. We're not even in frame. Let me just fix the frame here for you. There we go. Okay, we've got more incisors. God knows where that bit came from. There's another tooth. Let's put it over in the tooth pile over there. And continue with the fur removal. There's bone in there, so I'll set that to the side in case it's important. And there's bone in there too. But I think we have enough to um, construct something. Let's go! So we're going to use some more super glue. Oh, I've got super glue on my fingers. Not good. Some super glue on there. yet. That's good. Our upper jaw is glued together. Oh, I should maybe try and get this fur off the teeth. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Get off my table. No. This is why we shouldn't use super glue. I'm going to have to sand this off my table next. Super glue is stressful. It shouldn't be, but it is. Does anyone else find super glue to be the most stressful of glues? Oh, I put that in the wrong way. Fortunately, there's no glue on it. It's not going well. We'll leave the teeth for a little while. Okay, what's next? Well, what goes inside the head? Um, probably these turbinates, that I'm assuming are turbinates. Oh, maybe they can wait for a little while. Turbinates can wait. Where does this go? This looks important. I can't tell where that goes. Okay, so that should slot into that. And um, I didn't put enough glue on that. Let's put some super glue on here. Super glue. And also some super glue on that little bit there. Yeah, that bit would that bit went on so easy compared to the other bit, of course. Okay, I guess I shouldn't complain. I should just take what I can get. So now, um, do we even want the turbinates? I mean, this skull here doesn't have any because I power washed this. I boiled and power washed. Yes, I know boiling isn't the best method and all of that stuff, but. You know, I was experimenting, so it's okay. Boiling is an okay method as long as you degrease after you've boiled and make sure you get all that grease out. But um, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I have talked about that. I've talked about that before in a different video. Anyway, this skull was found naturally, so it's not greasy as far as I know. I mean, I doubt there's any grease in this. It's so dry. Turbinates though, do we want them? I mean, there they are. 
got some turbinates. Turbinates are very fragile. I believe they're just dried cartilage, but um, yeah. I don't think it's really gonna look very good since we only have like that. Oh, oh god, the stick it. Okay. Kinda looks like a giant rat skull right now. perfectly as that so far. Gotta seal it with some super glue. This girl is like beyond C grade. Beyond D grade. I would practically call this a a Z grade skull. But you know, it appeals to me. On to this bit. Dab some glue. This is not a tutorial by the way. This is just a I found a rabbit skull on the moors. Did I mention I found this on the moors? And I am sticking it together. about skulls like this, uh, bits will be different colours. You see that with the uh, kind of greyish brown, this bit's almost white. Just how it's naturally done its thing. And also um, this bit is not stuck in at the same angle as the other bit, but that's okay. As long as it's in there. You know, while that glue's drying, why don't I tell you a funny story about the move? So, I had a great uncle Jack once made a clay bust, you know, like a clay head, and it was so terrible that he went onto the moors and he threw it in a bog. So it sat there for a little while, and then some archaeologists came and were digging in the bog, and they found this clay bust. And they couldn't date it because this is like, it was my great great uncle Jack or something, he's, you know, long gone. <laughs> so. They didn't really have the technology back then to do um, like carbon dating or whatever it is that they would do for it. So they were researching it and it was in the papers and everyone was like, ooh, they found a clay bust in the bog. But my uncle knew that it was his because he could see it and he went, oh god, that is my art that I threw into the bog. <laughs> yeah, it was a whole thing. So eventually, after it was in the papers for a little while, they had to come clean and say, yeah, that, that is that is my art that I threw into the bog because it was so horrendous. And that's the story of how my great uncle Jack uh, once made a huge archaeology hoax by accident. So I think my glue... Oh. My glue is almost dry. It's dry enough. It's still sticky, but it's dry enough to... No, don't don't put it on your hand. <laughs> this poor rabbit. First of all, it died because it was eaten by some kind of buzzard or something, and now I'm here throwing its skull about and dropping its skull. And... Poor thing. In case you're wondering where this skull came from, this is a snake feeder rabbit, you know, like the frozen rabbits you get for the snakes. I got this from a local pet shop. It, it was dead, don't worry, <laughs> it was already frozen when I picked it up, so yes. And then I boiled it in a bucket to clean it. It was actually on the night Eurovision was on, so I had to boil it and then I ran in to watch Eurovision. Looks like a very young rabbit. Definitely, like, not old, you know? 
And let's just glue the teeth in at the front while we wait. Usually with super glue the nozzle gets stuck in the lid and you end up having to poke holes in the tube to get more glue out. Is this ready yet? Ready enough? Probably not. It, it's not ready enough. But you know, I can just... Put this on there, right? That'll do. Now then, this goes in like that. I'm just going to just shove it as far in as I can. So, let's just get some glue on there. And you know what, we should use the, we should use this thing. And just get a bunch of glue on there. And just shove it in and hope it works. It is a good thing that taxidermy is a hobby and not a profession because, um, yes. This is also why skulls cost a lot of money, if you want a good skull. I should have done this bit first. Oh well, it's kind of in there, sort of. Kind of, maybe, a bit. As good as it's gonna get, you know? You look on this one. You can kind of see where it should be going and it is not really lined up where it should be going, but that's okay. So um, yes, that is horrendous and should not look like that, but it's in there. I have stuck that bit in. Oh, I almost got stuck to the skull for the 500th time. Hmm, okay, what's next? Sometimes pieces will just slot together. You can just secure them with a bit of glue. Or a lot of glue as I just emptied half the tube onto the skull. <laughs> At least it'll be secure and kind of shiny. I'm also gluing a lot of dirt to it. And the super glue is making my eyes thin. I should really open the window. But, um. When you use super glue, please open a window so you don't get fumes inhaled. Don't follow my example. Okay, we're almost there. Just a few more pieces. Oh god. I'm gonna look at my reference to see what's happening. Am I getting there? By the way, this skull is kind of greasy, I will mention. So, um, degrease your skulls lest they stink. This one doesn't smell, fortunately, but it, it will eventually. Isn't that fun? Okay, that, 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 that didn't work. I got lucky with the other side. <laughs> it's not like you stuck on properly, but that's okay. As I've mentioned, this is just for me so it doesn't matter if it's too messy around the edges or anything. Why don't we do the dab and stick method this time? So the glue on there, I'm going to work quickly before it dries. I 
think this was a rather young rabbit as well, so its skull would have been a lot softer and more delicate anyway. Young animals tend to have really fragile skulls. Dear taxidermists who stick skulls together like this, raise your prices, like, just, just raise your prices please. It is difficult. I keep sticking myself to the skull. I, the camera stopped recording because I hit 30 minutes. I've been on with this for an hour by the way, in case you're wondering how long it's taking. This has been an hour. To be fair, it isn't too bad. Some skulls come in a billion gazillion pieces, so therefore take longer than this. Not that I have done this before. That's gonna dry, and um, I'll be back in five minutes. Now let's move on to sticking more stuff onto this skull. Gonna put some more glue on the thingy thing. Probably, hmm, hmm, I only have one of these thingy things, where the ear cartilage tubes, ear tubes go and make the rabbit hear things. I'm good at anatomy words. Okay, maybe we should stick this bit on, no, maybe that bit should go last. Oh, no, this is the actual last bit, because that's the, the, um, the back of the skull. I need to figure out where these go. I think these would. Oh, and I can. Can I see where these go? I think these are these bits here. Oh, oh I, I'm breaking my own skull. But that skull has super glue on it too, so. Yes. Okay. Time to try and glue things on. I have made some big mistakes. So that should theoretically maybe go here somewhere. Like on there ish, maybe. Yeah, it was like stick on like that kind of oh oh no oh, no oh. we did it once we can do it again i have glued this together really badly but that's kind of what it should look like let's just get the super glue and dab some on there and then some on there too some on there and hope for the best. Let's um, try and stick. Don't stick myself to it because then I'll break the entire thing. <sighs> At least I can tell where that one came from, I think. probably came out of here. Where my tweezers? Tweezers. Glue tooth. Tooth glue in. Remove rabbit hair. And this tooth go in middle section. Am I even in frame? I'm probably not even in frame. Okay. Are we in focus? Now we're in focus. I'm just gonna put some glue on these teeth and the glue will drip down into the crevices and hold the teeth in place. 
please, please hold the teeth in. We're gonna start on the other side of the teeth with them. Um, can't even tell which holes these are meant to go in. Just gonna have to eyeball it. That one's kind of thin, so maybe it goes. Oh, yep. And this one I can tell is this. There we go, and one more. Yay! And now let's glue those teeth in. That was probably way too much glue, but better more glue than not enough. Okay, uh, next up we have the other side of this, which is going to be difficult because it's not really set properly in place, but that's okay. We can do it, maybe. Please. There we go. Stick it on like that. Smear. Smear and stick. That's not a good place. There we go. Whoop. Almost got stuck to the skull again. I think I put this tube down in the glue. Okay, maybe it would be better just securing it there. Okay, now we just have to let that dry. So. Once again, I shall return in about 10 minutes or 5 minutes or however long it's going to take. Also, I'm going to open a window. Okay, so I did not open a window because it's too noisy outside. But, that's okay, I will get some fresh air after this. Maybe. And next up, I think we need to do this bit. It should slot on somewhere. If I have wind it up anywhere near correct which I have not see if we can get this on at all maybe it's going to be a little bit mismatched you know yeah we, we can kind of get that on kind of like just like that ish ish maybe Let's get some glue on there. And then stick. And now we wait for this bit to stick. There's a lot of waiting. I mean, super glue dries pretty fast, but still, gotta wait. You see how wonky I'm sticking this together. are missing the um, the bit that attaches to the cervical vertebrae so I guess we'll just have to live without that or live is a maybe not the right term this bit goes inside like that not like that I dropped it but it's so paper thin it's thinner than paper and um, it doesn't really line up properly with anything because uh, I've done a bit of a bad job. But we're gonna try our best. It will be stuck onto this skull somehow. Somehow. Strong, strong glue. Very strong glue. Make my eyes go. Whew. My eyes are very much watering. Oh, you know what? That that's kind of stuck. Yeah. Very fragile, but it's stuck. Usually, there's like clues as to how something's stuck, but um, because we're missing so much of this skull, I'm struggling a bit. Whoop. Okay, I think that's enough for today. I am just gonna go over this with some dabby dabs 
and uh, make sure it doesn't fall apart. And then I'm calling it done. Okay, now I actually need to open a window because um, super glue smelled funky. I'll be right back once that's dried and stuff. We've done it. We have fixed the rabbit skull. Yay! I need to clean my desk. But it's done. Yay! So uh, this side looks ten times better than. Oh, oh no, it, it, it's still sticky. <laughs> I got stuck to it. Okay. So uh, this side kind of sucks. This side is better and still sticky. Maybe I should have left it longer. Let's bring it closer to the camera. So there we go, there's a, a rabbit skull. Unfortunately we are missing a big portion of that, but that's okay because um, you can tell what it is. <laughs> For a skull that was in um, about 10 or more pieces, I think we've done a very good job. So I hope you enjoyed this video, links to all my social medias are down in the description. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts and it's not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one and bye! How, how do I wave at the camera from this angle? Bye!